The first thing that you'll do once you log into your account is that you'll see this dashboard page or my home page as Adobe Connect calls it. Here you will see your calendar, your meetings, other resources. You'll also be able to go over to my profile and edit any information like your password preferences and that nature. But for the purposes of, purposes of this um, online tutorial in order for you to learn how to use Adobe Connect for a live virtual training class, what we will do is we'll go to home. So this is the page you're directed to first. And you're going to locate the class that you want. So you could have multiple classes that you're enrolled in with different start times. And you could have different roles within each class as host, student, whatever. But for the purposes of this, we want to go into our Phoenix TS test class. So you'll select open here. You can also, once it's highlighted, you see the details of the class. You can click on there as well. Either one will open up the course for you. So as you can see, we're connecting into Adobe Connect right now. And here's your class. We don't have anything being shared, but it gives you the idea of the environment that you will be in. So let's go through each section. The first is your video section. Now this is where you'll be able to see your videos as well as that of the instructor you're able to be able to see everybody who's in the class if all video is enabled. If you want, especially if the instructor is doing a lecture portion and there's no slides to look at, you may want to expand that so that your video takes up the whole screen. And you can either exit you can shrink it back down. On the side, um, all of these buttons, your pod options, it'll give you a help option as well as any other actions that you can take in this section. So here you just have full screen and then your help for more information. The next section is your attendee section and this shows you everybody who is actively participating in the class and even those that are not active. So the first thing is your host. These are the people that are putting on the live event. Then you have your presenters. So this would be your instructor or instructor's aides, anybody who is actually leading the course. And then finally, you have the participants, which are your, which would be yourself and any remaining students in the class. And all their names would be listed out when you're in this attendee view. The other view is the attendee status view. And we'll go into how you can change your status in just a little bit. But under this view, you can see who's actively speaking. You can see who's raised their hand. If there's an agree or disagree, question presented by the instructor, you can see who falls under each category. You can also see who stepped away. So like I said, it's not just for active students, it's also for the inactive participants as well. So if you have to get up and use the restroom or take a call or anything like that, it's best if you put yourself a stepped away and the instructor knows not to um, be waiting on you if a question has been posed. Again, use your um, pod options to edit your information. You can change your view here as well as with the buttons and then help as well. And then you'll have also attendee options when there's multiple students in the class. The next pod is your chat feature, which is pretty self-explanatory. You have, this is where you chat. You can chat with everyone or you can send targeted chats using your pod options to just the host or just to the presenters. So if you have a question that is strictly for the instructor and you don't want the rest of the class to hear or you don't want the host to hear, you can send it right here to the presenter and you just say, hello. Also in this pod, you can change your text size. So if you would like it a little bit bigger for readability purposes, you can also change the, you can add chat sounds and you can change the color. So, once you change the color, any other text afterwards will have a different color. This is great if you have, if you just want to be able to see the difference between your chats and those of the instructor or other students. Again, enabling sounds, 
and then your help option. So the last part of Adobe, of the Adobe Connect environment is this main meeting area right here. And this is where you can share media. So this is where the instructor will share PowerPoints. Um, if he's doing like a virtual demo, he, will, he can have it portrayed here, while you can also still see his video in the corner. So this is where it's your whiteboard area, where you can really get into the class by sharing the materials and that you're finding online, maybe even sharing something that you see within the book that you want students to follow along with. So this is gonna be the main area. This is why it's the biggest area of Adobe Connect because this is really where the class will be going on. Last thing, as I said here for this, for the actions and status view, here's how you change your status. So up here is where you can, so I just raised my hand, you see that it's populated here. You can lower your hand. I agree. So I have a raised hand. I agree. I disagree. That one obviously cancels out agree. You can't, you can't claim both. And then here's your step away, and that cancels out everything. But it shows that I'm not present at the moment. This is also where you can ask, or you can change your status to the instructor to speed up, slow down. Something is funny. If you want to give an applause, if the instructor needs to speak louder or softer, these are all areas where you can just quickly click versus going in and saying something directly to the instructor. You can also clear your status here. So that is the overview of Adobe Connect. It's pretty straightforward on how to use it, and you should be good to go for your next live virtual training class. And if you have any other questions, you can always reach out to the Phoenix TS team at 240-667-7757, email us at promo at phoenixts.com, or just drop us a comment in this YouTube channel.